404 pages are bad. It's bad for your visitors. It's bad for your SEO. Now, if I land on your website searching for any URL and I see only 404 page, it's a bad user experience. I might leave your website, go to some other website, then it's bad for your SEO. So what you should do? Well, this is exactly what we are going to learn in this video. your first time on my channel. I am Harsh Agarwal from Shout Me Loud and from past 14 years I've been helping creators to start, grow and monetize their brand online. Now if this is your first time make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so that you keep receiving our future videos. Now let's talk about 404 error. What is 404 error? Well it happens because of two three reasons. Number one when you change your permalink like you decided that you know you want to change your wordpress permalink or your website permalink and all your old link starts showing 404 error so probably your 404 page could be an optimized like this where you're giving an option for your users to search for whatever they are searching for or you can also add more stuff like you know your best popular post over here to make it more optimized and i think i should do that but that's for some other day or maybe because somebody has linked to your blog but by mistake they have used the wrong link and now all the visitors who are coming are seeing the 404 page. Now it's your job, it's your job to monitor those 404 pages and take certain action like redirect them to a relevant post or to the home page or maybe create a new blog post and redirect those 404 broken page or keep it as it is and optimize your 404 error pages. So you have all these three, four options that you can do that. The bigger question is how do you monitor your 404 error pages? How do you get to know that which of the links, which of the URLs are giving 404 errors? And for that, I'm giving you four solutions and you can use either of them and then you can redirect them also. So I'll show you everything in this video. So let's go ahead, let's do this. All right, the first and the easiest option is to use Google Search Console. When you use Google Search Console, it is a free SEO tool for your website, which gives you the data how Google sees your website. So if you have not submitted your website into Google Search Console, you should definitely do that. There is a tutorial for the same on Shout Me Loud that you should check out. So this is my Google Search Console dashboard. And once you're inside the dashboard, you can go to coverage under index. And here you will see this option called submitted URL not found 404, which is in my case, there are four pages. So when I click on it, I can find all the four links which are giving 404 error. Now it does not show you the number of clicks, but at least I know these are the URL that Google is unable to find on my website. Users are unable to see on my website. So what I can do is I can redirect them to a specific page like my home page, or if there are any relevant URL, I can redirect it to those particular pages. Now, if you're using any of these two SEO plugin, one is all-in-one SEO, which is a plugin by Sayed Balki, who runs this very popular WordPress company called Awesome Motive and has multiple tools, plugins like Push Engage, Optin Monster, Monster Insights. And he recently acquired all-in-one SEO plugin and is developing it as we speak. So this plugin, the premium version has this feature, which lets you track the 404 error on your website and you can also redirect it. So this is a good solution if you're using all-in-one SEO. But I know many of you are using Rank Math. So Rank Math also has a module called 404 module and it looks like this. So it's called 404 monitor and it shows you all the pages which are giving 404 error. So let's say this particular post I've deleted like very recently and it's giving 404 error. What I can do here is I can click on redirect and I can redirect it to the home page. add redirection and you can see like I've done certain redirection like for example this one redirection has helped me to save about 20 to 96 hits which is quite a lot so you see like this redirection helps a lot it's very unfortunate that Yoast SEO which is the most popular SEO plugin for WordPress does not have anything for 404 monitoring 
and i am pretty sad to see that probably this is one of the reason i slowly i'm moving to rank math seo on many of my website probably in the future if i get time i will also explore all in one seo plugin but what if you're not using all in one seo if you're not using rank math and google search console is good but it gives the data very slowly which is not ideal for a lot of people who are who likes to move fast just like me and you so in that case what you can do is you can use this plugin called 404 solution this plugin has been around for a while and it was last updated 3 weeks ago from today which is 13th june so this plugin is something i've been experimenting with on shout me loud and i think it's pretty amazing plugin because what it does is like it capture all the 404 url plus it also has an option where it will automatically create redirect based on the best possible suggested page if it monitors a 404 page and if it finds out there is a url which has the similar permalink it will redirect the users automatically to those pages which you can monitor also and if you are happy you can you know keep the redirection as it is or you can remove the redirection here if you after configuring this plugin this is the first page that you would be seeing option page and then you can go to captured 404 urls data and the best thing about this plugin is it sort the 404 pages automatically based on the hits of course you can toggle this if you like so here you can see like this particular post got like six hits and i deleted this page sometime back and you can see like these pages are giving 404 error so what i can do here is i can click on edit and i can redirect this page to any page of my choice like if i know there is a similar page or this is a missed typo i can redirect it automatically to a good page by adding the link here or i can redirect it to home page and then i can click on update redirect which i'm not doing right now but this is how you are going to monitor your 404 error pages and redirect them but the best part about this plugin which i've told you earlier that it can automatically redirect your 404 pages to relevant pages to your website so basically that's how you handle 404 pages in wordpress that's how you track 404 pages in wordpress and i'll also leave the link of two three articles from shout me loud which you should definitely read if you want to master everything about 404 pages so you know you can simply read about how to find 404 error pages in google search console which i've already showed you and you can read more about 404 pages and how to deal with it from the seo perspective so with that guys we come to an end for this particular video if you have any question feel free to ask me in the comment section if you like this video you know what to do with that i will see you soon bye bye this is harsh